Hi everybody, welcome back. This is the next episode in the YouTube channel that's dedicated to the construction and development of the Lake Erie and North Shore Railroad. And I'm glad you came back. Uh, we're going to do some really cool things today. We're going to build some beautiful trees. And I'll tell you, at some point in your model railroading adventure, you're going to have to build some trees. So you might as well start learning some different techniques to do it. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take one specific technique and we're going to, you know, build some trees on this. And then a couple episodes uh, in the future, we'll maybe uh, try a different technique so you can see uh, how that all comes out, how we can get different types of trees and things like that. So uh, I want to thank everybody for all the support uh, that I'm getting on this channel. It's really, really gratifying and I thank you very much trying to answer all the uh, comments, some very good comments coming in. I'm going to try and um, incorporate the ideas that you have in the, in the next few videos that we have. So just keep it coming. Tell your friends, we got to get more subscribers. That's the whole thing. We got to get a bigger, uh, bigger pool of ideas and a bigger pool of wisdom. And then once we hit that, you know, magic number, nothing can stop us. Okay. So, and as you know, now it's time to pump up that railroad soul. From the mountains across the prairies to the sea. These are some of the trees that I've just made and I want you to see the there's a some pretty good detail in these trees you can actually see they look very nice trunks look nice see the bark And I don't know if you can see this, I'm going to move this, but you can actually see branches in there. There we go. And a nice multicolored tree. Nice big one there. And Let's see if I can show you this one here. Let's see, we've got some good branching, good bark on this one. A little bit of a loose spot, but that's just because I'm shaking a bit. Nice looking trees, by my opinion. And you can make different sizes from bushes, small trees, big trees. So uh, in this video, we're going to go have a look at, uh, at how I did it. So let's get over to the bench and start the process of making some trees. Okay, so uh, at some point in your model railroading adventure, you're going to have to make some trees. Now. Sometimes you can buy trees. Uh, I've bought, I got this for Christmas, actually. And it's a woodland scenics tree. These are pine trees. And these are kind of how they look. They come with a little base, which I don't use. So this is kind of how they look. Not bad, not bad. Um, 
if you mix them in with other trees and other foliage, they, they don't look too bad. So, okay, good. Uh, you know, you can buy these trees. Now these are, uh, I don't know if there's a price on these, but I think they're around 30, 40 bucks for, I don't know, 20 trees, something like that, which isn't too bad. Now, if you get really good trees, uh, like, uh, some of the trees that uh, Rob has on his, uh, his uh, that he's been using lately, that I think he orders his from somewhere in Europe. Uh, they're expensive. They're like 80 bucks for, I don't know, three trees, something like that, but they look amazing. But uh, what I try to do is make as many of my own as I can. Now, there is a you have to have the trade-off of money and time. There's no doubt about it. And uh, that's one of the things that uh, uh, Rob talks about in his series. Uh, Rob and Stephen do a, a series uh, where they develop their whole train right from the, or their whole model railroad right from the beginning. It's unbelievable. Uh, I'll put the link in uh, in this video. But uh, what I do, and I'll show you the whole process, and um, it is a bit time consuming, but at, at the end of the day, it's actually quite fun. Okay, it's very satisfying when you actually create uh, a tree that's going to fit somewhere on your on your layout. Okay, so the first thing you do is you go out to your backyard or somewhere where there's bushes. And you're just going to um, look for bushes that you can have a three dimensional aspect to because remember you're going to be taking part of this bush and you're going to be making it uh, into a three-dimensional tree so you can't just go out and pick something that's in only a sort of a two-dimensional thing and i'll try to find an example of that for you now the other thing you got to remember is the strength of these little twigs that you're going to be using because these are going to be your tree and you're going to have to stick some foliage on these and these things are just not strong enough you see okay so if we take those off and i don't need to use a clipper i can use just break them but i'm just going to take them off so if we take away the weak ones you see now we have like a two-dimensional tree there's not branches going in all directions so that's not going to work very well for us so it's not a total write-off this branch isn't a total write-off because if we move up we see here oh this might be a good little tree. So I'm just going to take this off here. And we'll just move this right out of the way for now so we can see. So you can see now I've got, yeah, these are pretty strong for little, little branches. So now what I got to do is say, okay, I'm going to have just a small one there. I'm going to have a small one there. Bring this up to here. This down here, this one to here, this one to here, and I might have that one go up to there. But see, now what we have is the base of a three dimensional tree. And then if I just cut this one down, I can determine the height. There we go. So now we have our first trunk. So we'll just put this here out of the way. And so now we just continue looking for some nice basic tree stuff. And I think this one's pretty much done. We could have a huge tree here, but not enough branches to make it look realistic. And having a tree this big on the layout would be like pretty uh, out of scale. So we'll get rid of this one. Go back to our original one that we're looking for here. Do we see any other good trees? Well, potential here. So if we just cut this one off here, get rid of this. See, we've got some pretty good potential here.
I'm gonna do that branch on there. See here, again, we've got another good potential for a tree. I may not leave this one on. We'll see when we, actually I've decided already, I'm gonna take that off. Okay, so now we have a pretty good base for a tree. And this is a medium sized tree. Now, this one I got lucky with, I just found it and sort of broke it off. Now you'll see there's a bend here, but that's okay because nature isn't perfect. So I'm just gonna cut this off and maybe trim this one back a bit. Trim this one back a bit. And now you can see we have the makings of a pretty big tree. This is gonna be a pretty big tree. Okay, and now we have this one. So again, you wanna look for a three-dimensional uh, shape. Now this tree, only to me, only has like a two-dimension and it's sort of right here would be the part that we would use, but this is not, not enough for me to do it because you're gonna expend a lot of time on this. But this is not uh, a total waste because we can take branches off this for, for fall, uh, because around, you know, in any forest, you're gonna see some tree fall. And some of these are just about the right size for that. So we're gonna take a few of these and we're gonna use them for the uh, base of our wood area, wooded area. And we're gonna put some of those fallen logs in there. And the, the really beauty about this, you going out and getting like real trees to use, is that they're already the right color. So you don't have to paint them or anything. You can you can seal them with a, with a clear seal if you want. But we're going to just put these aside and use those uh, for some tree, for some fallen branches and stuff in the in the uh, in the wooded area. Okay, now I'm just going to clear this away and we'll come back with our next step. Okay, so the next step, uh, this just goes to show you, you got to always be thinking and don't throw anything out that, uh, that you might be able to use later. So believe it or not, the dogs ripped up some pillows and this was what was inside the pillows. And I thought, ah, I'm going to keep that because I might be able to use it at some point. So I just grabbed some of it, put it in a bag. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, you rip a piece off. It's just this fibrous pillow material. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of pull it apart very gently. Just like this. Until we get it very, very thin. Starting to get this thinned out nicely. And you don't want to rip it. You want it still connected. But you will rip at some point because you're going to use different sort of sizes. So for instance, I'll just rip a piece off here. And I'll just show you what's going to happen here. I'm just going to put this as the canopy of that tree, just like that. I'm gonna leave some branches exposed because we wanna see some. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use this for. It's gonna be kind of like a substance that we can glue the, um, the sort of foliage that we're gonna use onto. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna spray this. Okay, and you wanna do quite a bit because you're gonna like we're, we're gonna do uh, in this video we'll we'll probably only do two or three trees but 
you want to do a lot of trees so you you take this out now you can spray this uh, any color you want because for the most part you're not going to see it okay however I use a dark gray you can use a dark brown because when you look in through the tree you don't want to see white in there so I use a dark gray because then when you look in it kind of looks like shadows and stuff so I'm going to go paint this and uh, then I'll be back and we'll uh, start constructing our first tree. I'm going to take that off because I want to paint that too. Okay, back soon. Okay, so uh, what I used was this Rust-Oleum slate. It went a little darker than I usually do. Rust-Oleum slate. And then what you do with these is you spray, spray, flip, spray, spray, flip, flip, spray, spray, until you get a consistent color in there. Now, some you'll notice here, there is a little bit of uh, deviation. That's fine. Because when you look into the shadow of a tree, you're not going to see all the same color. However, you do not want white showing because there's very few times that you see white inside a tree. Now, the other interesting thing is when you paint this, it will make it a little bit thicker. Okay, and give it a bit more body, which is good because now you're going to have something to uh, attach the foliage to. Now, speaking of foliage, um, this is the stuff I'm using here. This is just Woodland Scenics uh, green, light green, dark green, and medium green foliage. And I just took it out of the bag, put it in these bowls so that I can use it. Now, the other thing that you will want is I use this glue. Just a clear glue, Hobbycraft PBA clear. And I took the top off one of the paint, spray paints, as a base that I'm going to set my Q tip on. And you'll see why I do that in a minute. So you need your foliage. You're going to need a pair of tweezers. Even though I don't use them a lot, you will need them to uh, get into some uh, deep places. And then you're gonna need a few of these uh, Q-tips. Okay, now let's start. I'll just put this out of the way. I'll put our foliage. Sometimes you get some live bugs off those twigs when you bring them in. And these are the ones we're gonna do. So we'll do a, a big tree, a medium tree, uh, sort of a small tree, and then we'll do a bush. Okay, so those are the, what we're gonna try and do. So we will start with our medium tree, and I'll just bring this over. Oh, the other thing I wanted to show you because I have another one here. This is going to be a bit of a bigger tree, okay? And sometimes, because you'll see, just from the different um, bushes that we have, we have different colored trunks. See that? But that's okay, because different trees have different colored trunks, and that's fine. Well, you'll notice on this one, the big one, I've put a nail in it. So all I did was take a, uh, a very small drill bit, drill in, I don't know, probably this far, and then put glue in the hole, and then I just stuck this nail in, and now that's in there good. And that nail is just going to stick into the foam for a bit of a base, okay? But you can see these... This realism is amazing on these trunks. It's just incredible because it's real. <laughs> anyway, 
So what I also suggest is you get one of these stands that has a holder on it, because you're going to have to have both hands free sometimes. And then I would usually do two trees at once. So you put some on this tree, let it dry, go to this tree, let it dry, move back to this tree so you can save some time um, doing the trees. Now I'm only going to right now start with one. And we're going to start with this little tree. Now these things you can turn and then tighten. So you can get it to different uh, angles and then tighten it up and now it's solid. So now I'm just going to start. I'm going to just take a bit of this stuff, rip it off. I'm going to try and entangle it as much as I can in all of the branches there. Just stretching it around so that we have now that is stretched around. There we go. You see, that's not even glued or anything, and that's in there pretty good. And now we have kind of a basis for a tree. And remember, sometimes the trees aren't symmetrical. So however that goes on, sometimes I just leave it because then you're going to see a nice branch here and a nice branch here. Okay. Now for the base of this one, I didn't put a nail in this one because it's not really big enough. So all I do in these cases is I just angle it like that. So you can now stick it in to the foam. And put that back in. Excellent. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just put the foliage on the tree. And to do that, and this, look, there's all kinds of ways to do this. I've tried spray adhesive. I tried uh, um, all kinds, you know, dipping the stuff in, into glue and then dipping it into the, I, I just found that this, for me, this works best. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to dip this Q-tip into this glue and I'm just going to let it go wherever it goes for now. Put my Q-tip on my stand. I can get rid of this now because we're not using that now. And then I'm just going to take some foliage and put it on there. Now, really what I hate about these, about a lot of trees, even the bot, even the ones you purchase, is that the stuff falls off. I mean, it's really frustrating. Okay, you come in to run your trains and you got a bunch of foliage all over the place. So I really put the glue on these things because I really don't want it to come off. Okay, so we get the tree started now. The, the, one of the main things about how we're doing this is we want to mix up that foliage because I went out and I've looked at trees a lot lately. And even trees that are like totally green have different shades of green. So you go out and look and you'll see. I mean, even I suppose pine trees are the ones that have the most consistent coloring, but even pine trees have different foliage colors. Okay, now don't worry if you can see through because we're going to come back. And I just let this drip right on that old branch and carry it over and even if you get some dripping in between the stuff you already put on that's fine this stuff dries just really clear you won't even see it you know i think i'll take a little bit of a different color put that there Now I know 
if anybody has any tips out there of how to do this better, just put them in the comments, please. Because this is what uh, this is what this is all about. Is us learning from each other. But this is what I have done, and it seems seems to work pretty well. Now I'm just going to take this out. Now you can see you're starting to get the canopy of the tree. We got this branch over here, which is going to be a pretty cool feature. I think I'll just put some glue on that baby. And we'll just put this little guy right there. And this is where you get creative. You know, you can choose how this foliage is going to work on your tree, you know, and how many branches you want showing and sort of how weird you want the tree to look. Because in nature, there is a plan, but it's not, it's not the same plan as you may think. So we just put that there. I think I'll put this one in here. And then a little bit of this one. All right, so now you can start to see that tree is starting to take shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this branch and I'm going to put some on this. I'll leave some of these other ones open so you can see in. Okay, I'm going to leave that just like it is because I think that looks cool. So you, this is where your artistic uh, design and artistic flair comes in. You can just make these things because they're your trees, man. They're, they're, they're trees you're creating, so you can just create them any way you want. But what I'll do, you've got the idea of what I'm doing, so I'll just pause this now, I'll go back and I'll finish putting the uh, foliage on this, and then you'll get an idea of uh, what it looks like. Okay, so this is about uh, half an hour later. And uh, you can see we've got the stuff on the tree. Okay, we got uh, all the foliage on. And then there's that. Little piece there that I said I was gonna keep bare. I just put a little branch on it up there, a little outcrop going there, get up underneath here, in the trunk. So I'm uh, not going to lie, uh, some of these things when you put them on at first they will fall off. So you think you have them in place, you glue something else on and then it falls off. You just have to be extra patient, glue it back on, and then in the end, they're pretty stable. Okay, now what we're going to do, now that we have everything in place kind of like we want it, we're going to take matte spray, clear finishing sealer, and we're going to give this good tree a good dose of this just to seal everything in place. And then this We'll go over uh, into the tree stand and you're ready to go on the layout. Okay, and then we're going to now start this one. Okay, which I have put a nail into. Sorry, it's just... It's hard to do with one hand. I'm holding this. But anyway, we'll start on this one. This one looks like an interesting one probably try to leave some of these bare down here and just have the canopy up here on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna go spray this little baby. We'll put it in the tree holder and then uh, spray it with, or we'll spray it with the mat, put it in the tree holder, come back and we'll start this one.
Don't go away. Okay, we're starting a next bunch of trees. I'm gonna start with this little guy here. You can see basically how that's going to look. Little tree. And I'm going to go to the big guy. I'm going to use two bunches on this. All I'm doing is just poking this through just so that it's place. Oops, too much on that one. Broke the branch. And that's no good. You get the idea how that one's going to look. Okay, so we'll just start with the little one. And again, what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to let this run where it wants to go. I'm usually closer to the top, the more green it is. Not all the time, but sometimes.
Uh, you can see sometimes the piece will fall off. You don't sweat it. Just get some more glue out. Put it back on. When this dries, it's pretty solid. And you got to remember, it's just on that base. is just that really thin stuff. So it is going to move around a bit. This piece is being a little stubborn. So what I find when this piece is getting stubborn, just dose them a little more in the old glue. Put it back in there. Okay, now we're at the point. We'll leave this one. Let it dry a bit. Move over here and we start this one. And it's just the same technique. Except we're using a A lot bigger area this time. Hopefully that's in the... And you want to try to avoid using too big a clumps, as tempting as that is, because they will, they're harder to glue on. Be perfectly honest. Now, if I take, what I sometimes do is I'll just drop glue right in the middle of those. Just like that, just to hold those in. And you won't see that. You won't see that glue at all. I'm just breaking these down a little bit. Let's put another one there. Excellent. So you can see that top canopy starting to happen. Now what I'll do is just go over to this one because I just want to finish this off so you can see how long it took to actually do it. People out there going, what the heck is this guy doing? There's an easier way to do this. And you are absolutely probably right. And just put it into the comment section if you have a better way to do this. Because I'm always open better ways that's for sure okay so you can see how we're how it's coming okay now 
Now, I'm just going to turn it right upside down. Because I have a death wish. And we're going to finish this off. And then we're going to spray it to hold everything in place. That Q-tip is done. Just going to do this whole under bottom area of the tree okay here is that you get glue on your fingers and then it sticks better than the tree base Flip this back up. We did lose a spot right there. Sometimes I just take it, put it in my hand, just like that. Just get those last little bits tucked in. Now we did have a little bit fall off here. So you can see sometimes there is a bit of patience necessary here. Sometimes stuff falls off. You just put it back on. Okay. Okay, so this is the tree we've been working on. And we'll just have a quick spin here. Looks pretty good. You can see light through it, certain areas. It looks like a real tree. Very awesome. Okay. That's that. We'll give it a spray. And then we're going to head to and we'll head over to the tree holder. Ready for the layout. We're making some uh, progress on the big tree. I just wanted to show you sort of a little glimpse of how you do it like in pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see that uh, you just do pieces and then 
move on. And then there's a bit still to fill down there. Okay, just come around here. Okay, so I'm gonna continue on with this and uh, we'll come back when we're finished. Give you a look at that. It's starting to look like a tree. Okay, so this is our pretty much our final tree here. This is the big one we were doing and I love how you can see through it. It actually looks like a real tree. Perfect. Now the only, uh, the remaining thing you need to do is just if you see any sort of material coming down, you just need to clip it off. I'm not going to actually do it because I can't see through the lens properly, but what you want to do is just take your scissors, give your tree a little haircut if there's some fibrous material coming off somewhere. But here you go. There is a pretty magnificent looking tree. Trunk is excellent, of course, because it's real. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to continue on and make some more trees now. I'm going to experiment with some different types of trees uh, rather than just having them all look the same. Um, and that'll be another video. So this will kind of end this video on making trees. And then we're, we're going to take these trees and we're going to put them on our uh, hill where our creek is coming out eventually. But uh, I just hope you enjoyed the uh, video on making trees. And I hope this helps you make some uh, pretty cool trees for your layout. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, like these videos if you like them. Uh, the more uh, subscribers we have, the more we can uh, have a wide base of, inf of knowledge and wisdom to uh, guide us because everybody wants to learn through these things. And I do appreciate the comments that are coming in. And uh, I've actually used a few of those comments uh, to help the channel get better. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, subscribe, ding the bell so you get notification. And I'll see you in the next video.